Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be talking about Transmog. And this is the critique video. This is the video where I'm just basically calling out Transmog because it's it's actually horrible. It's horrific. So in the previous video about Transmog I made, I was basically saying that, like just the tutorial, like I'm explaining how to do it and whatnot. The thing that kind of sucks is the fact that since Strand is incredibly stingy, uh, you'll have to do 20 to 30 you'll have to do 20 to 30 activities just to get a 150 synth strands and then after that you're gonna have to do another like three to four maybe more depending on which actual activity you choose you have to do a bunch of uh activities or a really long activity uh, like for example the destination one you have to do a bunch of line wells 12 if i remember correctly but you could also do like the vanguard one which you have to get like 200 000, uh points which is like eat it could take as long as like two ma two matches or two two uh strikes or it could take you like four if you're doing fifty thousand each depends so it's it's really it's really unfortunate because that's all of that progress like 20 to 30 activities and then an extra like four or five depending on which which uh bounty you pick just to get a hundred synth cord to be able to unlock one piece of armor is ridiculous it's so much like they did not have to put this grind behind uh the transmog there should be no reason why this is this is labeled as content because it's not content you're already doing the things you already do and i know to a lot of people it's going to be like well you're getting something extra for for just playing the game how you usually play but what you got to remember is it's transmog it, i shouldn't have to work for this this is armor i already earned ages ago to some point since destiny 2 vanilla i'm trying to wear pieces from that time but i can't because the game's like no you don't have the necessary material for that so you can either farm the shit out of this and i'm talking like grind the fuck out of it or you can give me money and it's like but i already gave you like 200 or no, 300 dollars of my money to for for bright dust or for for beyond light and it's like no yeah yeah but i want more of your money because why not and it's like i don't like bro to the people who say oh it's cosmetic only bro i just don't get that I, I don't get that argument i really don't like transmog is is such an important aspect to pretty much any game like you're not going to play a game where it's like oh well, do you have new new like aesthetically like pleasing armor no no it's like literally just the same armor you can buy skins for like money but each armor piece that you pick is just like a stat stick it doesn't change any of your armor looks does that sound familiar? Because that's like literally Anthem, uh, the Avengers. How are those games doing? And now people are gonna be like, oh yeah, but th those games are suffering for different reasons. That definitely didn't help. I knew when I was, I know when I started playing Anthem, when I found out that I had to actually buy the skins, I was like, fuck this. Like, what's the point of playing this game if I can't even get cool shit in the game? So Transmog, Cosmetics in general is a very important part of video games. And if you say no, you're lying. You're legitimately lying because why else would people spend so much money on cosmetics if they were not important? So it's just unfortunate because I love Ada One. And what they did to her for this is just, it's almost murder at this point. Cause like, bro, they basically just put her behind the worst system in destiny 2 it's well aside from fucking test test is l the literal literal fucking devil incarnate but it's just unfortunate because transmog could have been really cool and in like even like even with the limit it doesn't even matter like even if we didn't have the limit the way to farm pretty much everything is so fucking stupid that you probably won't even get 10 at the end if you play three characters i'm literally like just wondering like how the fuck am i gonna do this for all of my characters what the fuck it's it's ridiculous the the grind is ridiculous they definitely have to change it because there shouldn't be a grind there's this should not be advertised as content this should not be content it's armor you already earned ages ago why the fuck do you have to re-earn it 
because that's essentially what you're doing. You're re-earning armor you already had. Or you're purchasing it for real money, which if you're doing that, I literally just cannot fathom why would you why you would do that. Like, you're literally telling Bungie, I'm okay with this, just whatever. And if you're like, well, you're poor or whatever, you're literally making the game worse. That's, that's really it. But, you know, what the fuck do I know? It's not like I've been with Destiny since Destiny 1 beta. It's not like I've seen them go downhill since fucking Tess was a thing. It's not like I saw eververse become even crazier when destiny 2 launched no no it's definitely definitely my fault it's definitely me people like me who actually tell people don't fucking buy shit like this you're supporting this this becomes a norm it's not like all of that shit became how destiny is today where it's a free-to-play market but the game's not free to play I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I may have been a little harsh, but bro, it's ridiculous that the grind for for armor that you already have to be this bad. Like, what the actual fuck? And I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, it's just the beginning of the season. You're you're judging it too hard, bro." If you play three characters, that's thirty pieces of synth synth weave that you need to pick. It takes you like 10 to 13, no, 10 to like 12 activities to complete, like to, to get enough material to get a bounty. Once you get the bounty, another like four to like whatever, whichever one you get, you get again, it could be a bunch of activities or it could be a really long activity. And then after that, you get one piece. Bro, I know this grind needs to fucking be there, there needs to be no grind it's fucking true bro it's shit like this that just makes me think like bro i could be playing like final fantasy 14 uh world of warcraft like i could be playing any of those games i know world of warcraft has its issues but fuck man at least it's fun at least i can do shit at least at least i know that when i want to play a game like a fucking raid from 20 years ago i can play it because it's still there at least i know if i want to train change my transmog all i need to spend is like glimmer or legendary shards equivalent which is gold anyone who defends like this sort of transmog or says it's not a big deal thank you for making the game worse i appreciate it i really do because this is the state of the game where even cosmetics has not only, and I'm not even talking like cosmetics, like shit, like from Eververse. I'm talking shit in the game cosmetics. Cosmetics in game that you can earn or could earn before is being monetized or there's a big grind behind it. Ridiculous, fucking atrocious. Let me know your thoughts in the po in the comments below. If I'm being too emotional, tough titties dog, it's, it, re it really pisses me the fuck off. So be safe, guys. You know what's happening in your world, and I will see you guys later.